Okay, so how are you guys doing? Hope everyone's doing fine. I had quite uh, an eventful weekend. Tiring, but eventful nonetheless. Um, I have been to the UK guitar show in Birmingham and I am here to tell you all about it. So, yeah, last Friday I had to catch two flights to go to Birmingham. First one was from Malta to Rome, Fiumicino Airport, and the other one was from Rome to Birmingham. Unfortunately, as soon as I got to the airport, I got to know that my first flight had a delay of an hour and 40 minutes, um, and that mean, meant that I was risking not catching the second flight to get to Birmingham. <laughs> Thankfully, the um, uh, the flight wasn't delayed by 1 hour 40 minutes, it was eventually delayed by an hour 20 as we got a uh, notification on the screens uh, and that 20 minutes meant a lot because uh, as soon as I got to Rome I sprinted from two terminals, got to the gate in time and uh, yeah, I arrived in Birmingham uh, safe and sound. Beep, beep. The first thing I did was uh, got a taxi straight to Cranmore Park, which is where the guitar show was being held. Um, and that's where I um, met up with Rob and uh, got to meet Dan and Alex from Chapman Guitars for the very first time. Hello! Hello! All these fine gentlemen have been hard at work setting up this lovely stand. We've got the ones on the rack here, previous year's models for sale. And the ones hung up are the new... Um, well, they're not all there though, like, there's one that's yet to arrive yet with one of our oh, special yes. friends. Oh yes, let's show them, let's show them. Act place right in the middle for a very, very super reveal tomorrow. But yes, also the ones for 2023. Um, better go get some food, fill our tummies. What do you think? I'm all about filling your tummy, mate. That's a great idea. We're going to get curry because they do oh, really good curry up north in England, so... I'm looking forward to seeing some of the other brands at the show. Yes. As you can see, all the other lovely people at the guitar show are sitting up. Hopefully giving a very nice display tomorrow and the day after. Hopefully running into some lovely people as well. And yeah, see you soon. I really, really personally liked the, the ML3 in the gold metallic gloss finish um, as well as the Morpheus flip gloss finish which uh, is like a chameleon colour which, you know, changes from uh, like a sort of purple to bluish hue as soon as you uh, flip the guitar around. There were also two of the uh, Workshop Series guitars that are made in England. Uh, there was a green um, guitar called the Chlorin Fade, if I'm not mistaken. Um, had a slightly fuller neck, bird's eye maple neck, and it has a gloss um, lacquer on the top. There was also the Cardinal Red Workshop Series guitar, which is slightly slimmer, but had a beautiful flame maple um, neck as well. However, the main event with regards to uh, guitar launches at the guitar show was on Saturday morning, um, and that was the reveal of Pete Honore, uh, Danish Pete's signature guitar at 11 a.m. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, attractive men and even more attractive ladies, please gather around to prepare yourselves for the unveiling of something super sexy and super special. So, first of all, thank you for being here, super appreciate it. I'm seeing some beautiful people that I recognize, which is uh, heartwarming. I'd like to introduce you to Danish Pete, although his real name is Peter. <laughs> all right! Hello. Uh, do you want to talk about this in, in like three words before I unveil it? Super fucking cool guitar. Was that four? That was four words. Okay. Remove one word. Uh, okay. Guitar. I'm really excited. Uh, you want to do this with me? You want to hold the other side? We're going to pull it off the stand. Can we get a drum roll? Oh, it's not purple! Oh, oh. So, Pete, please tell us about the Chapman DPT. This has been going on for a while, man. You know, we've been talking about this for a long, long time. 
and uh, the fact that you know Chapman wanted to do like a, a lineup like more classical guitar, more, not classical guitar, more classic like like vintage spec guitars. Um, I found that, that was really interesting and to get involved with and do it. And the fact that you guys gave me completely free hands. Yes, we did. Which, <laughs> which, um, which was really cool as well. So basically, um, I sat down and sort of just drew some stuff and we talked to Dave and, and then we ended up with this shape here, which is a, you know, as you can see, the headstock is uh, it's the different way around. It's the reverse, reverse. It's the right, it's the right <laughs> way around. It's the reverse, it's the reverse. reverse. <laughs> And, and it just makes the guitar look super cool. And I just wanted something a bit symmetrical. So, and I really like that card that, that an ST's got. And I thought on a Telecaster, you never really see anything like this. You just see like a, an armrest on it. So I thought that would be quite cool to figure out how that would work. Uh, so basically, <clears throat> the measurements, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a nerd with this. Measurement here is the same measurement here. It's the same measurement here. You see how it's aged? It's also an aged This finish. is a workshop British model. This is an aged to perfection model. Yeah. Some of the aging has been done by me. Yes, some of the aging has been done by me myself. Uh, it's a maple neck, it's a rumstrom board, it's a uh, swap patch body with the nitro finish on it. It's got Monty's DP51 uh, pickups in it. 95% of this was designed by Chapman, but yeah. the pick guard yeah. was my daughter that designed this one. So I gave my daughters uh, a, a paper with some Telecaster shapes on it and I said please help me design these big cars and uh, my middle uh, girl Gertie Boo came back with, with something that was, it was like this and then we um, it ended up like this so really really close so she was she's really really pleased. The neck calf is is the neck calf of my my, my purple telecaster. Exact time of the story. Exactly. So the, about the purple telecaster. Yeah what? Okay. So How we got the neck calf? Yeah so the neck calf uh, how we got this we scanned it. We scanned it. Yeah. We sent the guitar off to the, to the guys and it got scanned. So the guy was scanning completely. And then, literally, everything about this radius, everything, the frets are 60, 60105s. So everything is the same as the purple telly card. So this is the workshop model, which is made in the UK. Uh, but there will be a um, Eastern model coming, a pro version coming of this. Uh, which hopefully will be under the brand of Yeah, about a thousand. Yeah. A thousand book yeah. ingots of love and joy. With all the same specs on it, so... Um, should we plug it into something? You, can, you should play it, you haven't played it yet. Me? Yes! Me? Yeah, or somebody else. It's yours, I'm going to play up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play on the stage. I'm honest with you, you have a play. We've got Luke Brett, he's here as well. Yeah, we got Luke yeah. as well. we got Mark from Ferritin. <laughs> <laughs> When's this going to be released? I love that open pick up. So, well. this man can answer that really well. When's it going to be released? So, that's the prototype. We, uh, we introduced the prototyping and it should be released Q4 this year. Both versions, the English um, made and the and the proceeds. But we're, we're, aiming, we're aiming for the end of the year, but it all depends on supply and how the artist finally chooses what he wants. <laughs> So yes, at the Sun, the guitars were there and they were meant to be picked up and played. Um, Chapman also had the amazing Paul Boyd um, as a demo guy on the stand, who is an incredible guitarist. Um, I suggest you give him a follow on Instagram, which is Paul underscore Boyd underscore guitar. And uh, yeah, check his stuff out. Also, um, uh, he was demoing the guitars and showing the versatility of each model to the, the visitors at the show. I also got the chance to play a few guitars there um, and a couple of my favourites were the Cardinal Red Workshop Series guitar
as well as um, uh, I got to try out the Danish Pete signature guitar, which sounded phenomenal. <laughs> So, to conclude, I would like to give a huge shout out to Dan and Alex from Chapman Guitars, who are two immensely hardworking individuals who cherish the company as if it was their own. It's over, Rob. This was where the stand was once. Yes, and now it is no more. I wish you were here, it was really fun to hang out. And we're going to be at the NAMM show next, Luke and I. Yes. So if you want to come to the NAMM show and see us, in and April. have a coffee and talk shit about amps, we'll see you then. Bye!